हाई एवरी वन आई एम बैक अगेन टूडे विद अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ओ बी जी वाई इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन दिस टॉपिक यस्टडे दैट वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ वी स्पोक अबाउट ऑब्सेट्रिक फॉसिप्स सो टूडे आई एम गोइंट टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट येट अनदर वेरी स्पेसिफिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट यू फाइंड इन योर गायनेक ओ टी एंड ऑपरेशन थिएटर्स एंड इज समथिंग दैट इफ यू आर गोइंट टू पिक अप इन योर एग्जाम्स यू ओनली नीड टू नो वन टॉपिक एंड यू कैन स्कोर रियली वेल इन दैट टेबल वाइव इफ यू आर पिकिंग अप दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट आई एम गोइ टू बी टीचिंग यू टूडे इज गोइंट टू बी so this as you all might have already recognized is a bony's myomectomy clamp so when i talk of this instrument i need to know just the topic of myomectomy and i always advise that whenever you are answering anything in your exams in your table viva in instruments always pick instruments that are not generic generic like sim speculum or valserum aise instruments mat le lo pick up instruments that have a very specific indication that have a very specific topic that is attached to them and you can get away with it very easily by just knowing that one topic so this is one of those instruments and especially if you are going to pick this up the examiner is going to be very happy because most of the students shall be picking up av retractors and sim speculum and valserum but you shall be picking up this instrument which makes your case very good to score well in those exams so when i talk of this instrument this was first of all designed by victor boni now victor boni has several contributions in the field of gynec um things like boni's uh, test that we have for stress urinary incontinence then uh, we also have uh, boni's hood surgery that we do along with myomectomy and uh, we have boni's blue that used to be an antiseptic and this is one of the instruments that he designed so with this instrument there are a few parts to it the first part is as you can see over here this is the curved blade of that instrument this curved blade contains two rubber stoppers or rubber that has covered this after that over here this is the shank and this in between is the transverse bar over here you see that there are two sets of handles one is the proximal one and the other one is the distal one and here you have your ratchet to ensure or to know how tightly are you putting the instrument now how do you use it remember you see an angulation over here okay i'll tell you what is the use of that angulation this instrument is going to be used for the surgery of abdominal myomectomy this instrument serves two purposes first of all it keeps the uterus stable and the second one is it ensures hemostasis how do i use it i told you that there are two ratchets or there are two finger rings the proximal and the distal one the proximal one is the one that you will use to open the instrument and the distal one is what you will use to close the instrument okay so proximal one is the one that i'll use to open and distal to close it so once i open it now that i have opened this if this is my uterus over here like this i shall be putting it at the level of fallopian tubes so if this is the starting point of my fallopian tube where my watch is and if i'm going to put it here then you see how i've put it i shall be gliding it downwards towards the isthmus now imagine that over here is my isthmus and iske niche mera cervix hai which is not seen here so i shall be gliding it upar se niche tak aise and over here i shall be tightly binding it what is the purpose of doing this i do this because first of all jab upar se niche aata hu i shall be holding the round ligaments inside this so when i pull the round ligament upar se niche aise it becomes taut by taut i mean to say it becomes tight it becomes fixed once you fix the round ligaments then your uterus is not going to move it is one of the supports of the uterus secondly at the lateral margins of your uterus where i am attaching you have your uterine arteries that go laterally so when you clamp this completely because of this rubber holders the tissue that is your uterus is not going to get crushed but this strength is good enough to compress the uterine arteries lateral to the uterus which will help in having better hemostasis you are blocking the blood supply of the uterus now myomectomy is a surgery that has a few principles in which you have to do it and one of those principles is going to be achieving or maintaining hemostasis very well you have to ensure that hemostasis is maintained you have to ensure that there is not significant blood loss there are various ways to do it one is injection of uh, vasopressin inside the myoma and the other way is to clamp your uterine artery using this 
or you can put a sponge holder on the ovarian arteries you can also put mesoprostol you can give the female something like um, a tranexamic acid there is one more way if you don't have this clamp then you can even use a foley's catheter by making a window in your broad ligament and tying it at the level of isthmus so basically at the level of isthmus laterally isthmus of the uterus not of the fallopian tube so at the isthmus of the uterus the segment between the uterus and cervix your uterine arteries go so wahape you just have to ensure that you are maintaining it tightly so how do i place it and what is the use of this angulation over here now this is a pelvis now imagine that this is a female who i am operating and her pelvis is like this this angulation rests over here it rests over here and i open this up and after opening this instrument like this i'll be trapping the uterus and this rests over here this ensures ki ye mere view mein na aaye if this would have been a straight instrument mere operative field mein aata but because of this angulation it goes away from my operating field and hence i can operate very easily isko bas laga ke aisa chhod dena it will maintain its location wahan ka wahan ye agar straight instrument rehta so imagine that uh, something like this it would have been a straight instrument so the straight instrument hota to mere aankhon ke samne aata in my operative field it would have literally jutted out protruded out but this angulation of 120 degree see it's an obtuse angle so a 120 degree angulation ensures that it is being kept like this and it doesn't come in my operative field and then once i start the surgery remember that now that i've compressed the uterine arteries completely there is a state of hypoxia that is occurring in your uterus hypoxia can lead to the release of things or cytokines like histamine and serotonin now if i clamp this for too long and then i remove this all this locally accumulated histamine and serotonin can go into your systemic circulation and can lead to anaphylaxis which is why i don't want that to happen so i should be releasing this clamp using my distal using my distal rings every 20 minutes so every 20 minutes i have to remove this for a couple of minutes and then again i have to clamp it back with the proximal one 20 minutes ke baad i open this again i let the circulation come back and then i clamp it again after 2 to 3 minutes so ye her 20 minutes karte hai na bahut hi zaruri hai definitely not more than 30 minutes ideally it is 20 minutes so this is one of the instruments one of the very important and an easy instrument that you can use in your exams when you are talking about the surgery of myomectomy there is one more instrument that you use and this is your doyen's myoma screw so doyen's myoma screw you can see that this is literally a screw so all you do is लिटरली जैसे हम लोग शैम्पेन के बॉटल का कॉक ओपन करते हैं वैसे ही आई शेल बी पुटिंग इट इन साइड आई शेल बी लिटरली रोटेटिंग इट एंड आई शेल बी पुटिंग इट इन साइड एंड देन वंस इट इज इन साइड द मायोमा आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू बी पुलिंग इट आई एम गोइंग टू पुल इट सो दैट बाजू में आई कैन डू डिसेक्शन बाई कटिंग इट आउट एंड फाइनली द मायोमा कैट बी रिमूव सो बेसिकली फॉर गिविंग ट्रैक्शन डॉयंस मायोमा स्क्रू इट हैज अ वेरी पॉइंटेड टिप एज यू कैन सी अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन बी आस्ट इन द सर्जरी ऑफ मायोमेक्टमी is first of all what are the principles of myomectomy so the principles of myomectomy first of all is that you have to ensure that adequate antimicrobial cover has been given pre operatively intra operatively you have to ensure that you are giving a cosmetically good incision on the skin and then hemostasis is being ensured for hemostasis this is one of the instruments this transverse bar you would ask me what is the use of this transverse bar this prevents the slippage of round ligament so do round ligament yahan pe trapped hai. they should not slip and go as and become loose they should be trapped till here only which is why this transverse bar exists so iske do purpose aise instrument ke to maintain traction on the uterus and to keep it stable and also so uterine artery compression to ensure hemostasis apart from that you have to ensure that the scar that you are giving is going to be hidden because it can lead to adhesions intra abdominally so we do something called as baseball sutures on the serosa also the hemostasis has to be great so you do a myometrial closure in multiple layers using vicryl as a suture material and finally you have to keep anti adhesion barriers over there something like oxidized cellulose so that adhesions are prevented between the bowel peritoneum and the uterine scar there is one more question that you can be asked what is a bonnie's hood surgery it's very easy hood kya hota hai wo hoodie tum log ne dekha hai you must have seen those hoodies that we use during winters so what is that hoodie basically aisa peeche se cap aata hai upar se so similarly if this is your uterus if this is your anterior side jahan pe bladder and this is your posterior side jahan pe rectum hai imagine you have a fibroid over here 
सो यू डू अ मायामेक्टमी एंड दिस फाइब्रॉड इज कम्प्लीटली रिमूव्ड नाउ यू हैव यहाँ पे अ फ्लैप दैट इज रिमेनिंग जहाँ पे ऐसा पहले फाइब्रॉड अंदर हुआ करता था नाउ दिस फ्लैप ऑफ यूट्रस इज रिमेनिंग सो वॉट यू डू इज यू कवर दिस फ्लैप एंटीरियरली एंड यू टेक द स्टिचेस ओवर हियर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग द स्टिचेस यहीं पे ऐसे यू आर पुटिंग इट एंटीरियरली दिस इज लिटरे लाइक अ हुड दैट इज फॉर्मिंग ओवर द यूट्रस दिस कन्वर्ट्स अ पोस्टीरियर इंसिजन ऑफ अ पोस्टीरियर फाइब्रॉड इन टू एन एंटीरियर इंसिजन यहाँ पे सूचरिंग हो जाता है सो इवन इफ यू आर टेकन द सूचर्स हियर फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ द फाइब्रॉयड दिस फ्लैप इज गोइंट टू बी सूचर्ड एंटीरियरली दिस इज नथिंग बट बोनीज हुड सर्जरी इट रेड्यूसेज द रिस्क ऑफ यूट्राइन रप्चर ड्यूरिंग सब्सिक्वेंट प्रेगनेंसी एंड ऑल्सो हैज अ लेसर रेट ऑफ अदेशन बिकॉज ये जो पोस्टीरियर स्कार होता है यहाँ पे बॉवेल और सब कुछ अधेर होता है ये एंटीरियर जो स्कार है वहाँ पे लेसर चांसेस ऑफ अदेशन आर गोइंट टू बी सी सो दैट इज इट फॉर टूडेज सेशन ऑन द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स Boney's myomectomy clamp and Doyen's myoma screw. In the next session that I shall be recording, we shall be seeing yet another two important instruments, and that is going to be a Shirodkar's sling surgery needle. So keep watching us, and in the next video you shall learn this very crucial instrument. Thank you.